culture. It's ruled and Armored Singh. Armored Singh was so powerful they blew out their own amps. Did they really? The PA just... And the Armored Singh, are they the original members? Just about, yeah. Except for the dead ones. Oh, wait. One dead There's one. a deceased member? The guitar player, right? Yeah. What happened to him? Cancer. Oh, that's right. But, but this other guy played with him when he was still alive. So, so you could say he was like one of the... He kind of like was his um, mentor? Or kind of like no, he just played with them when, you know, Armin Singh needed another guitar player. When the other one left, he, he came in. He used to play in that band Odin. Oh, wait. The guitar player from Odin is now with Armin Singh. Duncan. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I like that dude. You know, Odin was yeah. a good band. He was, he was, he was on that. They fucking do his band. Man, remember man. that movie, The Decline of Western Civilization, The Metal Years? Yeah. yeah. They were like on the verge of like becoming big, and nothing really happened about that. Well, I was, I was in that movie somewhere. Were you really? And during the Megadeth scene when they filmed it. Oh, there. I didn't know that. Yeah, I mean, Odin. Didn't that, notice wrong back I had their demo. You know what happened? <laughs> I was the one getting thrown out of the club. I remember <laughs> my buddy. He he brought. He had the album. And he recorded it on the this, uh, cassette for me. Uh -huh. And he goes, man, you gotta check this guitar player out. He's like, he's, he's pretty yeah. awesome. And I went home and I go, yeah, this guy's bad. Uh, he's been with Armored Saint, I don't know, off and on or what, but for, in over 20, 20 something years. Over 20 something years. Oh, wow, I didn't know that. Before my daughter, my daughter's fucking 24, 25. So he was in Odin, then he went to Armored Saint. I guess so. Yeah. But I, I tripped out when I went, went when fucking they came on stage, I looked at them all, all the original members, even that dude Duncan, I'm wow. a fuck. I was like, this is fucking bitching, man. Imagine how they are able to stay that, stay well, they all, together you know, that long. You know what's good about them? They almost remind me of us. That they're very handsome? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what was cool about them, you could tell them. <laughs> <laughs> they could be models or musicians? Yeah, they could be Calvin Klein models. Models for what? We don't know, but. <laughs> Hand models. <laughs> No, because you can see the closeness of them being friends on stage. Oh, they're they're like uh, that chemistry that they got. Yeah. Because B. G. Gonzo kept on dropping his drumsticks. Yeah, that was funny, man. Like on purpose or actually? No, he kept on because you could tell. I guess he had to shorten down his drum set. Short it down. You know, like it was just like a sports bar, dude. It's like a small. Oh, sport really? Bar. Yeah. Oh. Like what I what said, place was it? Backyard is about as big as the whole. As big as the place. What, what place was it at? Uh, Corona. Uh, Club mm -hmm. Five. There's a lot of people there? It was yeah, packed. It was packed, yeah. There were about at least two, three hundred people up. Damn, that's a lot of people. And um Metal Church rocked it though. I because I'm I'm I love them both, but you know, it was like Metal Church to me. Remember how I told you, you know, you gotta listen to the rhythms and all that, you know, that's yeah. more like the kind of style that I wanna go through after. And and you saw the tightness of the guitar players and there. You know what was cool? The bass player came out and he was standing right there at the show and he was cool shaking hands with everybody and stuff like that. Real nice guy. You know? he, did, he, did he like talk to the people? Yeah. Yeah, I talked to him. I told him, hey, that was one hour of a show. He shook his hand and all that. Oh, you went yeah. up to him? Yeah, and he goes, oh, thanks. You know, real nice. Did he have any merchandise? Of course. I had to get the metal shirt. The metal church shirt? <laughs> the metal church shirt. <laughs> and, uh, and you know what those bastards did? They had a deluxe CD that you can't find in stores. <laughs> yeah. I wonder what he does with his little <laughs> dolls. They're smelling it. I, I, I <laughs> the bottle to the <laughs> Action figure, get it right. Yeah. It's a man doll. It's a man doll. It's a collecting item. It's a collector's item. It's just out here like that. <laughs> yes. Such. How come you're talking to me take a bra off? I know. Why is he talking this? I, I redid the uh, sculpt. Anyways, from the Spawn collection. You can get this on eBay. <laughs> yeah. Look me up. For, uh, it's right there. For only five payments of twenty nine ninety five. You can own this <laughs> thing. Warrior Princess. You should make a Savage. shield that says JRD Project on it. I know, this would be the, the official value mascot. Will go up more. It comes with this base too. <laughs> <laughs> What other garbage you got around here? I know, what is the trash? <laughs> what other garbage? holding on to the yeah. horseshoe. It's not a real horseshoe. I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a horseshoe. <laughs> if you're from the city, that looks like a horseshoe. Oh, that's fucking funny. Yeah, for a dinosaur, man. <laughs> for a dinosaur, horseshoe for a... There you go. There she is. Yeah, but that was a good practice, right? 